In the late 1800s, the town of Monument Beach, Massachusetts, was President Grover Cleveland's summer White House. And on Sunday mornings, he could be found in a chapel just a short walk from the Cape Cod Canal. But while President Cleveland is now a chapter in American history, the chapel is now home to the McClung family. Hi, Ron. Hi, Pam. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Nice to meet you. It's good to how meet you. How long have you lived here? About two months. Two months? Yes. I think the house is a little older than that, though, right? Yes, it is. Can you illuminate me as to the project for the day? I sure can. Come to the dining room. Ron, this is the light that I want to replace. Ah, so this will be your first electrical job? Yes, it will be. Okay, okay, I'll give you a hand with it. Now, this room looks like you've been doing some work in here already. You've got some border up here and some, okay, miscut this wallpaper down here. It's a little short. Actually, I'm going to put a chair rail on oh, no, there. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, I can see why you want to put a new fixture in here, though, because you're sort of pulling the room together. This would add a nice touch. Uh, let's start by taking the furniture out and then we'll go ahead and take the old one down. Okay, okay? great, thank you. This is a fiberglass ladder right here. Uh, wood would also be okay, but avoid metal ladders when you're working on electricity. Okay. Secondly, we gotta make sure that the power is off up here before we start working. Now, you might think we could just walk over here to the switch and throw it off. Indeed, the light will go out, but it's still possible to have electricity up there. So uh, I wanna go to your circuit breaker or your fuse box and turn the power off there at the source, okay? Can okay. you show me where that is? Sure, it's downstairs. Okay. Well, here it is. Okay, well this is a new circuit breaker panel. These are like switches that would shut off the electricity if there was a problem. What I want you to do is to start up here at the top and start flicking these to the off position and then back on like this. Okay. And when you get to the one that controls the light, the light will go out, I'll signal, I'll knock on the floor. Okay. Okay? Yep. Okay, Pam. Good. Leave it off. Okay, Pam, start by uh, taking the globe off. There are some finger uh, nuts there. You see them right around the rim? Now, Pam, take this tester and put it up in the socket like that. Okay. Now, if there had been power up there, we'd have gotten something like this. To take the fixture down, grab the tube with your left hand. Okay, and then reach up above with your right hand, that little ring right there, right? Unscrew it. You may have to wiggle it a little bit to get it loose. Is it turning? Yeah, keep wiggling the, the, the shaft, the tube there, if it doesn't want to go. It'll, it'll eventually loosen up. There you go. Keep going until that, till that cone drops down. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Let it come all the way down. Okay, take the tester again, Pam. I want you to touch that to all the wires, the end of it, all the wires up there. Just go ahead and move it around, move it around. I once again confirming that there's no current up there, okay? Now most light fixtures are connected with two wires. Here's one right here, and here's one right over here, okay? So first of all, let's disconnect this wire nut. Just unscrew it. Okay. Okay, the wires are kind of twisted together. You know, untwist them, just pull it apart. I'll do this one over here. Pull the wires apart. There you go, there we go. Okay, now we're disconnected. Now this particular fixture, is just held up here on a, on a, with a threaded rod, which we'll just turn like this. And the whole, there we go. So that's the end of our old fixture, okay? Again, <clears throat> take your wire nut and just for the temporary, just place it back on the ends there. Pull out those two screws that hold that strap or bracket in place. You see them? They okay. attach them to the box Please. right, yep. There we go. Excellent. I've replaced the old mounting strap with a new one that was packaged with a new fixture. I'll also attach a new copper ground wire to the mounting strap. Good, okay, Pam, why don't you bring the new fixture over. We're gonna start to wire this up. I'll do the first couple of things here and then I'll turn it back over to you, okay? Okay. Uh, let's thread the wires through this trim plate right here and then also through this uh, threaded nipple Then we'll come up here, take the ends of these wires, and push them through the hole in that bracket. Next, we want to screw this threaded nipple into the hole in the center of the plate or mounting bracket here. Just like that. There we go. 
Now it's time to really make our connections here. We'll connect the electrical supply wires on the new fixture to the wires coming from the ceiling box by twisting them together and then screwing on insulated wire nuts. Wire nuts come in different sizes indicated by their color. The orange size is what we need for this job. Green wire nuts are used for ground wires. Pam secures the trim plate to the ceiling using a decorative screw eye that attaches to the threaded nipple in the mounting strap. Then she hooks an open chain link into the eye, attaches the rest of the chain to the open link, and voila, the new fixture is up. Okay, there we go. Time for the finishing touches. First of all, good. Well, it's time to test out our work here. Now, just in case, okay, a little supplementary light. So why don't you go over here and uh, flip on the switch and see what, okay. what we got here. Okay, oh, I like that. I like the fixture very, very much. Beautiful. It's a nice choice for this room. Oh, thank you. And here's to your first successful electrical wiring job. <laughs>